In this video, we're gonna go over our PBST Plus configuration on Cisco devices. Uh, this is just one video in a much larger series called GNS3 Labs for the CCNA. So if that interests you, you should subscribe and check out the rest of those videos as well. And then we're gonna hop over to GNS3 and go through some configuration examples. So Rapid Per VLAN Spanning Tree, which goes by the abbreviation of RPVST Plus, and the plus means that it's compatible across 802.1Q trunks. It's a Cisco proprietary protocol. And what it means is that there is a separate 802.1W instance for every VLAN. And this means that each VLAN is gonna have its own route, its own calculations, and it's gonna be sending out its own VPDUs. So the downside of this protocol compared to the other spanning tree protocols is that it's going to require significantly more CPU and memory, and especially so the more VLANs you have and the more active the network is. And that's because for every single VLAN, it's gonna be running all of the spanning tree processes. All right, so now I've got GNS3 pulled up and we're gonna use the same topology that we were using in the last video, which was the per VLAN spanning tree. And it actually still has that same configuration that we put into the switches then. So what I'm gonna do is just power off and then power back on all the switches and it will go back to the configurations that I had before. Just power them back up. All right, so those are booting up. Let's go through the configuration real quick. The first command we're gonna put on everything is gonna be spanning tree mode, uh, rapid PBST, and this just declares the mode. And that's gonna change the mode uh, from the default. I think it defaults to the PBST mode, and that's gonna put the default at rapid PBST, which is what we want. Uh, and then we have the priority command. And if you watched the last video, it works exactly the same as that one. Um, you go spanning tree VLAN, then you specify the VLANs that you want to assign a priority to, and then you have the priority and then you would assign it to that one. So for switches two through seven, I've got this arranged so that uh, switches eight and one might be connected to something else. And we know for a fact that we don't want switches uh, two through seven to be the root bridge for any of the VLANs. Uh, and then this is going to assign them the lowest possible priority. Uh, when you're assigning priorities, it starts with zero. Zero would be the best. And then it goes in increments of 4096. And uh, so this is the lowest possible priority score that you can essentially assign a switch. Uh, then for switch one, uh, we're going to make this one essentially the root uh, for VLANs 10 to 20 by giving it a priority of zero. And then it's gonna be the backup route basically for 30 and 40. If uh, switch eight was to go down completely, then this would then have the lowest priority number for those VLANs and it would assume the priority role. Um, and then that's the converse for switch eight, which is gonna be uh, the backup route for 10 and 20 and then the route for 30 and 40. All right, so now I'm gonna paste the uh, commands in. All right, and then very similar to uh, PBST, we can do show spanning tree summary, and that's gonna allow us to see information about the spanning tree. All right, and then just like uh, PBST, we can do show spanning tree summary, which allows us to see just information about the uh, spanning tree process as a whole. All right, we can see we are the root bridge for VLAN 1, 10, and 20. And then it shows us information about all of the VLANs down here, how many ports we have that are in the forwarding and STP active state uh, for those VLANs. All right, and then just like PVST, uh, we can look at the spanning tree process for a specific VLAN like 10. Now we know that uh, switch one is gonna be the root bridge for VLAN 10. And it says so right there. Um, and then it's also in the designated forwarding state, which is exactly what we wanna see. Uh, now if we put that same command into switch eight, um, it's not gonna have that, this is the root. Um, and then you can see it has a root port, which is just gonna be the port that does face the root bridge. Um, and then if we modify that command to be for VLAN 30, which it should be the root for, then we can see that this bridge is the root. Um, all of the ports are in the designated forwarding state, which is what we wanna see. And then if you wanted to, you could go through and look at these switches that are in between those two and figure out which port is root. And then you can see it's a different root port uh, for the different VLANs because switch one and switch eight are gonna be pointing in different directions. All right, so that concludes this video. If you found it helpful, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.